Hey, construction champions, it's your host, Ron Newsbaum, and we're here for another amazing episode of Construction Champions Podcast, where we're burning the house down twice a week, every Monday and Thursday. You can find us right here. Amazing guests, myself, even though we know we don't tune in for Ron Newsbaum, we tune in for our amazing guests. And we're not here to burn the house down because it's an upset customer. We're here to burn the house down because we're going to make you into the champion that you were meant to be for your business, your personal life, for your significant other, for your kids, if you have kids, for every reason why you started your construction business to begin with, we're going to make sure you get there. And we're going to bring the experts on to help you get there. And today is no different. David, it is fantastic to have you here today. Hey, Ron. It's uh, great to be here with you. Awesome, man. I've been looking forward to our conversation. Me and David have gotten to know each other a little bit. He's doing some amazing things. But before we dive in there, I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yeah, I appreciate it. So um, my name is David Hurley. Uh, I live in North Carolina right now. So my background kind of spans uh, first the Marine Corps, which uh, Ron and I have that in common. And then I actually went police officer, kind of continued on that trajectory of being a, a gun toting badass, if you will. Um, I ended up at one point just having a an eye opener while sitting in Afghanistan. And uh, I quit the, con the uh, consulting or the uh, contracting job that I was with over there, came home, figured out what I wanted to be when I grew up and uh, got into naturally the website and marketing industry. So just a natural, you know, progression from guns to, <laughs> to the internet. And um, uh, funny enough, I started a web design business and this was about 2010. And uh, at the time you either had a really bad website or no website, or you had something you had to take out a, a business loan to build. So there was such a wide range in there and not knowing how to build websites, not knowing what in, what went into cost or even how to connect a domain to a website to hosting. I just said, you know what? I think there's an opportunity to come in, you know, in, in the mid level where people can get something that looks great, but not have to take out a loan or sell their firstborn child just to get there. So um, started a, a web design and marketing company and Ron, I failed forward the whole time. I can't tell you how many clients' websites I uh, destroyed, how many email addresses went offline as soon as I tried to launch the website. Um, it, was a, it was a cluster of trying to figure out the industry while I was also trying to build the business at the same time. So fast forward, um, I ended up uh, getting that company acquired by a large SEO firm in uh, the United States. So apparently I did something right. And, uh, and then subsequently created two uh, software companies that were acquired as well. And then got into, well, what am I going to do next? So at the beginning of, I guess, really the end of last year, uh, maybe a little bit before, uh, I said, you know, there's one industry that I've been very intimate with, you know, ever since I was a little kid, and that was the construction industry. Um, my dad is a contractor. My mom used to frame houses. <laughs> um, my, uh, I think my grandfather was a builder. And so it's just, it's always been in the family. I grew up swinging a hammer. I grew up, you know, learning how to you know, shoot nails with a nail gun, how to do plumbing, electrical. Um, and the one thing that I learned in all of that is contractors are busy doing their trade and a lot of times the marketing side, the website, having the professional email address, all that stuff gets pushed to the back burner because they're people that, that use their hands. They get out there, they build works of art. And, uh, you know, if you do a good job in this industry, the great thing is you can survive by word of mouth. Um, so I started uh, Home Pro Booster as sort of that, that uh, partner and that's exactly what we do. We partner with these uh, contractors and all these different home service realms to uh, bring their business online and obviously help uh, during those slow, you know, slow times where the word of mouth just doesn't work out. 
I love it, man. I love what you're doing. Uh, so we're going to dive right in there and I'm going to ask the million dollar question. And that is what makes a construction champion? Introducing Buildercoms, the future of construction management. Built by industry veterans, our platform simplifies your workflows and boosts efficiency. From field operations to leadership, we've covered it all to help you sleep better and enhance your projects. With Buildercoms, expect reduced errors, save time, and exceptional outcomes. Join the thousands of builders and contractors revolutionizing their processes and achieving greatness. Discover more about us at Buildercoms.com. I honestly think, um, you know, a construction champion could be applied to just about any industry. And I look at that as, as sort of four pillars. Uh, number one, you, you have to be willing to wake up and do what it is that you do and love doing it. Right. So that's that's one part of the equation. The other side of the equation is you've got to be doing it for a reason. So a lot of these, you know, a lot of these guys that go out there, yes, they're building. Um, they're doing what they know how to do, but more importantly is what are you doing it for? So are you going to work because you got kids? Are you going to work because you want to create a good living for them? You got a wife that you want to provide for. And I feel like, uh, you know, that's number three is, is having that family aspect. Um, even if it's, you know, even if it's only you, you're brand new out of the womb, you know, you just started your construction business. It's going well. Um, you know, me, I still send money back home to mom. So it's, it's, a, it's a way for me to give back to the people that have always given to me. And I think that that's important. Number four is uh, a construction champion has fun doing it. You know, they get out on the job site, they do what they do, and they thoroughly enjoy doing it. They love working with the, the clients that they work with. They love working with the, uh, you know, the other people in the industry that they're working with. And I think that that's what makes a well-rounded construction champion. I love it. And I agree. We have the fun, man. Why, where, where has the fun went in the construction industry? Yeah, It is fun. It's a yeah. blast, but when you're in it, like, that's not the, I think what, like what you're saying is we need to be more into, we, we just have to understand that this is fun. And not let yeah. it not be fun, I guess. Like, because it is, it really is. I look back on my time, like, it's some of the funnest times I've had besides being in the Marine Corps. And I mean, misery mm -hmm. later on ends up being how you look at, like, oh, that was a lot of fun because it sucked. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And that that's that's the thing that I think we get sucked into the, 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 bad parts, you know, the frustrations of the construction industry or whatever industry. Um, but we got to remember, like, those are the times that the three, four years from now, we look back on and we, you know, we joke about over, over a beer. Um, and, and I think, you know, this particular industry is, is great because so many, you know, I'm in the technology industry working with home pros, um, there's a lot of industries right now that are almost getting, you know, techno technologically uh, distinct. They're becoming dis uh, extinct because of technology. You know, AI is coming on the scene. There's so many industries that as soon as AI came on, we're just gone. And the one thing that uh, my dad always taught me was you've only got two things in life. You've got your word as a man and you've got your hands. Right. If you can't do anything with your hands, then, you know, you're never going to be able to fall back on something. And uh, this industry, luckily, I, I feel like is going to keep churning forward um, when all these other industries sort of get taken over by technology. And those guys that are still out there, you know, I, I say, you know, creating art because that's what it is. It doesn't matter if you're putting trees in the ground, if you're, uh, you know, building houses, if you're putting a deck on, um, at the end of the day, you know, that's something that you did. That's something Ron built that you could always drive back to, you know, five years from now and say, I did that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that kind of approaches a, an interesting subject is like technology within the construction space. Cause we already know it's way like it's estimated that construction's like 10, 15 years behind 
uh, about just every other industry when it comes to technology. But this is a realm that you deal in all the time. My, we, we, we deal in it every day. But what we, what we hear every day is we talk to people that don't even have email on their phones mm -hmm. in the construction industry. What, what are your thoughts on that? Because that seems like there, it just seems impossible. And Ty, my CMO, Tyler, who's been in software 20 years, when he gets on sales calls and or rewatches our demo calls and stuff, he is in disbelief. He's like, I can't mm -hmm. even fathom an industry where people don't even have email on their phones. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's uh, it, it, kind of what I alluded to in the beginning is people don't get into the construction industry to go, okay, now I need that website. Now I need that email set up on my phone. Now I need, you know, the professional voicemail. That's not like, Hey, you've reached Tom, leave a message. You know, <laughs> you, you, that, that's just so far in, in the, the, the background that uh, it's not something they think about. And it's, it's interesting though, when you come across somebody that has put an emphasis on the social media aspect, the email and communications aspect, the website, the marketing, um, those guys are crushing it. I mean, they're, they're not just, you know, well, I need, I need to get, you know, another job this month because if I don't X, Y, and Z, I mean, those guys are like working in the millions and millions of dollars in revenue. And a lot of these things that you're talking about, you know, just getting email on your phone takes a second, but doing that means that you don't miss that urgent lead that comes through that was all about hiring you, but you didn't respond until 7.30 that night. And by then they already had somebody else coming out the next day to give an estimate. And, and you know, then you got to wait on that guy to come through. Then they're going to do their due diligence after the fact and may lose it. Especially when we're talking, like I, what you're saying is spot on. Like the companies that are embracing this stuff, it, they're killing it and it shows. And I think that's kind of the difference when we look at like how construction businesses used to be set up where it was, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to go out there. I'll start doing the work. We'll generate that word of mouth where now you have entire marketing and branding strategies uh, mm -hmm. put in place before anybody even <laughs> runs out before anything even starts. Uh, you can mm -hmm. have websites up and going, you can have a brand and you can build this technology around it s beforehand. And those are the guys that are like, I believe are crushing it from what I'm seeing are the ones that are like, things are going awesome. And that's, we're kind of in the space where the guys that didn't do that to begin with now have to try to start to figure it out because otherwise they're going sure. to get left behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and at Home Pro Booster, we deal with two, you know, kind of two groups of, uh, of people. You've got the ones that, um, well, three groups, really. You've got the ones that, you know, had the website. They knew they needed it. They got it built. It never really did anything for them. Um, and, and so the, the, the common conversation is always, well, I've already got a website, and it's not just about having a website. It's not just about having a presence online. It's about that is your one thing that's marketing your business 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And while you're sleeping, while you're out with the family on the lake, while you're doing this, while you're on vacation, that, that online component of your business is marketing you forever. And you don't have to pay a dime for it a lot of times. You know, that's, that's the, the biggest part. Um, the other group is, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the people in the web technology space as a whole, um, I think they take advantage of the fact that, you know, contractor comes along, they don't know what a website should cost. They don't know what SEO should cost. They don't know what, you know, some simple marketing should cost or some help with social media. And so they get shafted. Uh, I've had guys that are paying $1,500 a month after they had a website built. And when I asked them, well, what are you paying for? They said, oh, well, they're doing something with SEO. 
You know, it's like, <laughs> well, what are they doing? I don't know. I get a report, but I never read it. Mm -hmm. And, and to me, that's, that's mind boggling that you would spend so much money on something and not know what, where it's going or what it's doing for you. And then the other group are the, the ones that, uh, you know, they're the ones that kind of put, um, I would really say the horse before the cart as it should be, but they're going, okay, I'm going to start a company. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to look professional and look like I've been around forever before I even do my first project. Um, and, and I'll say that, you know, in today's age, when you, when, you know, you're, you're, you may be making great money doing a lot of work, but when you send an email out to somebody and it's got at Gmail at the end of it, that takes your, your, your credibility um, your professionalism, and it just lowers it. And so when somebody else who has just taken the time to, you know, create a professional email address uh, is also shooting their quote over, and that quote, you know, is, is on a, a nice email format that's formatted and looks really nice with line item and everything. Um, if the price is similar, nine times out of 10, that guy's going to get the work just because there's a professionalism and trust aspect that goes into that. Yeah, and I, I also think with the the websites is like people are checking even if that lead doesn't initially come in off the website, people are going and googling companies before mm -hmm. they're making a decision now because they want to know mm -hmm. like what's this? Are they committed? There's that fear of they're going to take my money and run. I mean, this stuff still mm -hmm. happens in construction today, so homeowners they're weary of that. So they're going to go on Google, they're going to go wherever, and they're going to search you out and see, like, do they have a website? Is the website up to date? Does it make sense? Like, does this look like a professional company? What's their social media? Like, all this stuff that used to just kind of happen where you just pick the phone up or go run over to whoever and be like, hey, do you know such and such or hey, they've done work on your house has now turned into more of an online background check checking your resume out yeah. online. Yeah. And I think that's a testament to where we are just as a society. Um, it, it, it used to be that, you know, your neighbor got some work done by you. Your neighbor saw it. Hey, who did your job? Oh, you need to talk to such and such. And that's how you got your work. And so, you know, it was Facebook before Facebook, you know, it was Facebook in the real world, essentially. Um, now we are so disconnected as a society that most people don't even know their neighbor. So, mm -hmm. you know, they could have the, the greatest addition to their house, but the neighbor beside them is never going to ask, right? Um, I think, you know, now people just jump online. And what that's also done is it's given a little bit of anonymity to some of the bad apples uh, in this industry, in the construction industry. And you hear the horror stories. You know, they took my money, they showed up, they worked for a week, uh, they haven't returned my calls. And, and I would say that to your point, it's important to put all your business out there to show your face, to have that website, to get those Google reviews, to keep them up, to be checking in with your clients um, that haven't given a review and asked if they give a review. Because what that does is it gives people peace of mind. Like you said, um, you know, this guy is, he's, he's got his face online. Uh, he's got his family on the about page. Um, you know, he mentions the fact that he's a, it's a family owned business. Um, got great reviews on Google. He's got a professional looking website is active on Instagram, updating with project photos and stuff. I feel like the guy's legit. And so that's that due diligence phase that you're able to pass with flying colors. Whereas the other guy who maybe might charge a little bit less, um, but you go do a Google search there's no social media, no website, no Google business page, you know, no reviews. The one review was that BBB review that yes, you responded to, but you know, it's like, well, that was in 2020. Uh, it's the same thing going to happen to me. Am I going to be dealing with this? So having that, having that presence online really helps with the peace of mind when it comes to getting that uh, lead converted into a paying customer. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree with that. One of I, one of my favorites is the you go on the social media and they they don't have no profile picture. 
or anything. And mm -hmm. it's just like a ghost town. Like they went on there, set up a Facebook page, and then never entered in any information at all. Sure. <laughs> and yep. it has their Gmail, their Gmail email address right on there. Yep. Uh, I mean, that's that shit's too common these days. It is. I, I think, you know, technology in a way has just made it so easy that they know they need to check some boxes. So it's like, oh, I need that Facebook page. You know, uh, you know, nephew, can you set up a Facebook page? And then they set it up and it's like, all right, I set it up, uh, but I need this, this and this. And it's like, all right, good enough. We don't need any more. You know, the box is checked. Um, set up an email so somebody can send me something. Check. Now, <laughs> It's not the professional email. It's not, you know, the, the, the Facebook page that looks professional. And I would, I would say that a lot of people, um, you know, this industry, you're out of the house, you're, you're not in front of a computer, you know, you're up on a roof, you're uh, on the back of a lawnmower, you're, you know, you're doing something um, that takes you away from the digital side of the business. And so for a lot of people, I think it also becomes daunting. They have the good intentions maybe starting off, but then it just gets left in the dust. And that's, you know, a home pro booster. The, the great thing about when we partner with home pros is that we're not, it's not like we're just coming in and building a website. Um, I, I specifically work with and answer each contractor's questions when they email me. Um, you know, I, I have people ask me, I had somebody write me the other day and say, you know, I set up a Facebook account, speaking of Facebook, I set up a Facebook account, but I don't like, I don't know what I'm doing. What should I do? And I spent the time to craft, you know, a, a 20 minute email with links to YouTube videos and things like that. And I think when you have that lifeline to go to, all of a sudden, everything doesn't seem so daunting and it's a little bit more manageable. And, you know, even if you can take a, instead of just taking photos on your phone, expecting to come home and upload them to your website, take the photo with Instagram, right? Uh, we can embed an Instagram feed in the website and you can shoot that photo straight into Facebook. Well, you are already gonna push the button to capture the picture of the video anyway. So now you've actually just taken that picture or video like a diaspora, spread it across all those elements of your business online and you're still sitting there on the job site doing what you would have normally done anyways. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, that right there. I mean, that's a huge snippet right there for all the listeners. Yeah. That's uh, that's awesome. But it, it is. It's truly easy stuff like that when you work with pros like yourself that understand how to just make all this stuff work super simply because mm -hmm. it's not like technology – website social media soft you name it it's just all really made to be super super complex and complicated when it's not necessarily that it's not something that we all need to just run out and try to learn how to do yeah but it's not like something that you can't understand and can't mm -hmm. make simple if you're working with the right people to do that mm-hmm yeah, it's, I, I've been doing, you know, web stuff now for, I guess, a decade and a half. And coming from a position not knowing anything about it when I started my last company um, in this space, it was, it was kind of nice because half my day was spent trying to find the solutions to something without knowing how to code anything, because I didn't know how to code <laughs> anything, um, without like, knowing that the, the nerdy technical speak, um, I just tried to find solutions that were out there that solved problems without me having to spend, you know, hours and hours and hours, uh, overcoming that learning curve. And so what that's done is it's given me a, a unique position in this space to be able to take that knowledge and then just overlay it on each of the projects or each of the client's uh, uh, accounts. So when they have questions, problems, you know, concerns, hey, how do I achieve X, Y, or Z? Nine times out of 10, there's something out there that's 
almost turnkey. But if you didn't know me or you didn't know somebody in this industry, you know, the tech space, you would you would know you'd overspend on stuff just to find out it's not going to work. Um, and that's, you know, the same thing with uh, with builder comms and a lot of other uh, services out there, or platforms out there. People are like, "Ooh, this is the thing I need. It does, you know, everything three ways till Sunday, but you only need it to communicate and get more organized. You didn't need the other 50% of the thing that that uh, that other platform does, but you're spending $200 a month or $500 a month on it. Mm. And you're using, you know, $150 of it. <laughs> so that's why I think, you know, people like us, when we connect with uh, these people that really shouldn't have to spend all this time and effort learning this, they should be doing what they do best and then allow us to kind of fill in the gaps and give them the guidance that they need. I love it, man. And I, I love what you're doing. I really do. I, like I said, we've gotten to uh, know each other a little bit, communicate via email. I've looked at what you, what you're doing. And to me, it's pretty amazing. I love the way that, you know, you just educate people, put it to your other and you're just you, 15 years. You've been doing this for 15 years and now you're helping the construction industry overcome a yeah. major hurdle. So, man, I love that. Uh, for all the construction champions listening out there, if they wanted to connect with you, follow you, learn more about what you do, where's the best places for them to do that? So uh, they can find us on Facebook at Home Pro Booster. Uh, we're on there. Um, we're starting a uh, YouTube channel. I'm actually doing a lot of educational stuff on there. Uh, so that that's just kind of ratcheting up right now. And um, uh, you can also go over to homeprobooster.com, uh, learn more about what we do and how we do it. Uh, we don't, you know, the, the great thing about how we do things is we've already created a system that works. And so rather than charging, you know, home pros $2,000, $5,000 to create something that may or may not see results, uh, we just charge 68 bucks a month. So 68 bucks a month, you got a website, you're out the door uh, less than a week. Sometimes, you know, most of the time, less than a week to get it up and running. We take care of everything from your, your uh, content, your SEO, uh, taking those images, optimizing them for the website. Uh, integrating your your social feeds so that you got that live gallery or that uh, instant gallery update right there on your website, live chat, all sorts of things. Sixty eight bucks a month. It's it's kind of a no brainer. <laughs> I think we spend more. We probably spend more money on beer and coffee uh, <laughs> than uh, than you do on this. And the way I see it, you know, when you work with somebody, you should see a return on that investment. And for sixty eight bucks a month, I look at it like. This first month, that website should convert, even if it was just a word of mouth that came over and confirmed, yes, they're legitimate. That website did its job of converting that lead into a paying customer. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, I want our work together as partners to be, uh, you know, an investment that they look as, at it as a good investment and not something that they're always constantly going, well, you know, what's better? Where can I go next? Yeah, which is too often what ends up happening. And people are constantly mm -hmm. jumping around from this person to that person. But I mean, like I said, I love it. I think, like you said, you're doing it completely different than anybody else is doing it. And I think that's one of the reasons why you're winning and we continue to win in the especially in the construction space, because mm -hmm. it's much needed. Uh so I love it, man. And thank you for taking the time to be on the show today. Yeah, Ron, I appreciate it. Awesome. All right, construction champions, another amazing episode where we learned all kinds of different things. Number one is construction is fun and it always has been. And you shouldn't forget that. So let's see here. This is a Thursday morning or it's a Thursday. That's when this episode came out. Tomorrow's Friday. Shit's probably already hit the fan. I want you to remember right now that construction is fun. This is fun. I love doing this. This is what we, this is what we signed up for. Number two, I when he when David was talking about taking a picture and automatic this Instagram to Facebook and then it ends up in your website, like that's a no brainer. 
like to do stuff like that. Like, just think about how simple that is to be able to just take, this is where I think technology becomes, I don't think I know, because I deal in this business, is it becomes really intimidating because you, you're sitting there telling yourself right now, Ron and David are full shit. There's no way it's that <laughs> easy. But it is. Like, it really is. Like, this kind of stuff is not that complicated when you're working with the right people and getting it set up. So it's, it just automatically happens. That's why you should work with people like David. Work with people like myself. Work with construction champions. Work mm -hmm. with our sponsors. So, construction champions, go be the champion you were meant to be. Introducing Buildercoms, your all-in-one construction communication software. Say goodbye to communication mishaps that cause frustration among builders, contractors, and clients. The Buildercoms platform unifies communications, making it easy for you to chat, share updates, and collaborate effectively in one place. Experience the transformation in construction project management with Buildercoms. Visit us at Buildercoms.com to learn more and start streamlining your projects today.